she's going to call her busy, she'd have done it by now. So? So, am I getting away with it? Look, I'm going to tell him. He might turn up at any time, mightn't he? Oh, why not go the whole hog, eh? What? Get yourself down the cop shop, save them the petrol, tell them everything. I just want to tell Simbad the truth. I own the truth. You are mad. So the hell, man. I've just spoke to him on the phone. How does he sound? Okay, I'll tell you. This time last year, he was still alive. But I know we were going to die. I could have just been nicer. Hey, you were only a kid. You still are. I just miss him. You on your own? No. Jimmy and Jackie are hiding on the knife tour. I did. What's up? Am I five tailing you again, Harry? How long do you reckon it take for the busy to follow up a complaint? Why? What have you done? Something I should have done a long time ago. Now, well, this hasn't got anything to do with me, has it? You've been round to Barbara's again? Yeah. Jim! Oh, hang on a minute. Look, things are looking good for you. Better by the minute, in fact. Well, what have you done? I went round to see that Kevin. I ended up giving him a bit of a going over. Oh, no. Keep your wig on. The wimps ended up an Aussie. But he hasn't called the police. I told you to stay out of it! I've done you a favour! What, by putting Kevin in the hospital? Yeah, that'll be the busies now. He practically sprinted back into the ambulance. You swore blind that you'd leave it. You told me. You promised me. What's going on? Somebody had to do something. You know nothing. The one of the army knocks your back. Oh. Simba, calm down. You're not deaf. You're sick. There's nothing going on between them. There's a gale blowing right through. Why isn't he called the busies then, eh? Oh, he will. And it'll be me that gets arrested. I thought everything was okay. You're joking, aren't you? He's just put the final nail in me coffin. Tell her what you've done, will you? If you let me get a word in, yeah? Look, me and Emily went round to see that Kevin. Well, I've gathered that much. Well, it gets better and better this, right? I thought I'd go round and try and persuade him to tell the truth. Yeah, by beating him up. You haven't. Will you let me finish? What did he say? Not a lot. I ended up landing him one. The poor kid's in hospital. Yeah. And how come he hasn't blown the whistle? And this was last night? He's obviously breaking it. Oh, I thought that Barbara would have welded onto the place by now. Oh, I've given up on a second guess, Barbara. Don't you think it's weird the way Kevin hasn't grasped me up yet? Yeah, I do. Don't encourage him, Rachel. He's a thug. No, cheers. Stop it, you two. Yeah, what Tim did was wrong. Wrong? It was madness. Yeah, but he's got a point. The police still haven't showed up. I rest my case. Pity you didn't rest your fists. Where are you going? To get a... You two can play detective until the cows come on, but the bottom line is, he's put a 15-year-old kid in the Aussie in my name. They're going to throw away the key. Hey, I can't stop Bethany's changing. Have you heard anything? Nope. Tim, I know you're only trying to help. Oh, yeah. And Simba was made up, wasn't he? Oh, put yourself in his shoes. What's the point? He hates me. Of course he doesn't. He's just angry. You saw him. He lost it. It's all that sicko's fault. I'm glad they gave him a kick in. Any sign of the busy? No. Well, so he's guilty or what? What do you make of that, Kevin? I feel sorry for him. What? Well, he's sick, isn't he? He's got to be. Why else would he make Andrew like that? Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, thanks, bye. Good night, gorgeous. Timmy Malley. I won't keep your hands off the money, Ben. <sighs> Give my love to Kitty Galore. Hey, you'll always have me, you know. Yeah, I know. Taylor, yes, that's right. Uh, yesterday tea time. I'm his cousin. Thanks. She's checking. He is? Right, uh, okay. Right, thanks very much. Bye. Bingo. He's in the infirmary. Did you get him in overnight? Thanks for that, I know by the sounds of it. It must be pretty bad. Mm, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Oh, why, yeah? Uh... Well, in hospital bed, he's a captive audience. Maybe I can get through to him. How do you mean? But it's like you said, Andrew's story is too rehearsed. Maybe Kevin is behind me. And if he is, it's not the kind of story you pluck from midair or pick up in the playground during break. Right. I think me and Kevin have got something in common. 